Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to perform a Mann-Whitney U-test in R. Now, when do we conduct a Mann-Whitney U-test? Usually, it's tested in its own right, most commonly when we want to compare uh, two samples to make an inference about a difference between two populations. Now, Mann-Whitney test uh, can be used for categorical data or rank-based data. And the null hypothesis in a Mann-Whitney U-test is that the median difference between the pairs of observations is zero. In other words, the medians are the same. And the alternative hypothesis is that the median difference between the pairs of observations is not zero. In other words, the medians are not the same. Now, typically when we are comparing two samples, we would use a, the student's t-test, um, but that test is dependent on both sets of variables being normally distributed. So the Mann-Whitney U-test is often used, as is, the, as is the case in this video, when uh, one or both of the uh, samples used in the test are not normal. If that's the case, you cannot use the student t-test. The Mann-Whitney U-test is the preferred test. So I'm going to use an alpha value of 0.05 for all tests conducted in this video. Now the data that I'm going to use is uh, fictitious uh, movie rating data for males and females. Uh, the data is stored in a file called 95datafile.csv. Uh, please note that this data file and all data files used in this series of videos, plus all our scripts, are available in my GitHub, and you'll find a link to that in the information section beneath this video on the YouTube page. So let's read in the data and display this fictitious movie rating data. So quickly to take a quick look at it, this is um, movie ratings for males and females, 20 males and 20 females. Uh, these variables are independent of each other, so this is going to be an unpaired test. So we want to see if there's a difference between the ratings of uh, movies between males and females. So to illustrate why we might use the man with new test in this case here, the first thing I want to do is to perform a check for normality using the Shapiro-Wilk test. Shapiro.test and I'm going to put in the movie rating movie rating dollar sign let's do the males first and uh, run run this uh, line and we can see we get a, a p-value of 0.9959 and um, so this it means that we cannot reject um, the uh, null hypothesis that the data are normal so our male sets of data are normal so let me copy this line into the clipboard and paste it in and change the second variable to female. So now we're ready to check the uh, normality of the female data. And we can see here when I compare the two, the two uh, tests, our p-value for males is uh, over 0 0.0, alpha, alpha value 0 0.05. Therefore, we cannot reject the null hypothesis and these data are normal. But the data for p-value for females is less than 0 0.05. Therefore, we can conclude here that the um, a sample for the uh, female movie ratings is not normally distributed, therefore a student t-test is not appropriate, and we're going to use the Mann-Whitney u-test instead. So the uh, function that we use to perform a Mann-Whitney u-test is actually not called Mann-Whitney, it's called the Wilcox.test. So I'm going to type this out. The Wilcoxon rank test is a test also in its, in its own right, but we use the same function to do both the Wilcoxon rank test and the Mann-Whitney U test. We'll learn a little bit more about that in a moment. Um, if you haven't uh, used the Wilcox.test before, do go to the help screen and type in Wilcox.test and you'll get some information about the test and how to use it in R what the arguments are and descriptions and so on in there. So it's very useful to check out a function like this if you have not used it before. So um, what we need to be able to, the two things we need to be able to tell the Wilcoxon.test, we need to tell them what the variables are and whether it's a paired or unpaired test. So let's type in the two variables first of all. So I'm going to do, uh, we need to do this test twice and we'll, the reason will be apparent in a moment. So I'm going to put in the movie rating dollar sign male first comma and then movie rating rating dollar sign female second and as I mentioned uh, before uh, we the Shapiro uh, test has told us that these data, data are not uh, females for not normal and so this is the reason why we're using this test uh, but we also know that male and female data are independent of each other here which means that they are unpaired so we want to use the paired parameter here and set it to false Push that down onto the next line to uh, let so that we can see it all. So our, we're going to compare males and females, and this is um, these are unpaired data. So we're using the paired parameter, 
uh, to indicate that, that case by using the logical operator false. So let's run this test. Okay, and let's take a look at the output. Now we've got a, a warning here, it's not an error message, we've got a warning here. Uh, but the first thing we need to do is to look at and see um, what the, uh, the test statistic is, um, um, the W statistic, it's uh, 255.5. Uh, but we've got a p-value is the most important part here, and the p-value here is 0.0. 0 0.136 or 0 0.137 rounded um, and that tells us that we cannot reject the null hypothesis because that value is higher than the alpha value that we set earlier so our null hypothesis that the median difference between the pairs of observations that's uh, movie ratings for males and females in our case uh, that we cannot reject that therefore there is no difference between the medians of male and females and these are median ranks of course so uh, we want to do this again and I'll show you uh, let me copy this line of code and I'm going to swap the male and female data around and paste. So let me put the female data first and change the second one to male data. So I'm just swapping these two variables around. Run the test, still an unpaired test, so um, run this again. And again, we get a warning here, but there are ties in the data, so therefore uh, the exact p-value is not computed, but we've got a good approximation of it. When we run the test a second time, we see that the p-value is remains the same, so that, that's not going to change, 0 0.137 rounded. But what has changed is the W statistic, of, which is now reported as 144.5. Let me show the output of both uh, commands here. So we saw in the first one, the results for reporting are that the test statistic is 255.5, and in the second one, that the test statistic is 144 and in a man Whitney U test we report the smaller test statistics so you can see that the p-values are the same in both cases so let's me just uh, uh, write this out as a quick report so we report the lower of the the uh, u, w statistics so w is equal to uh, 144.5 comma and then we report the p-value and we're going to report the exact p-value here. Let me put in a space. P is equal to uh, 0 0.137. So this indicates here um, the, the p-value tells us that we cannot reject the null hypothesis. Uh, therefore, our decision is that we failed to reject the null hypothesis that there's a difference between the medians in this case. And that therefore, we can conclude that there is no difference in the rating of ranks between male and female uh, for the movie ratings data used here. So that's how you perform a Ma um, Mann-Whitney test in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.